Guys, welcome to Tips Day. <laughs> this time I'm going to do a series where I'll be sharing with you literally tips and tricks on how to get better on your trading. So today I'm going to start with this one here over here. You guys can already see there is a nice red and green candle. And I got a few people asking me, uh, how do I use Fibonacci when I use when I make my trades breakdown and how come I use it to take some trades, right? So this one here, you guys can see that this red candle is usually known as uh, order block and usually this is the last sell before the, the buy to the upside. And the same goes on the other way around, you will see a green push to the upside and then a huge engulfing red candle to the downside when it comes to sell, okay? So what I usually do is like I take this order block, so I take this red candle and I place my order, uh, my order usually on the middle of that, okay? So it is very, very important that you take from the top so including the wick to all the way to the bottom. And then what I do most of the time, majority of the time, I try to take my trade on the 50%, which is ideal. And then some people will tend to take trades over here. So they take the whole order block. And then there is another way to do that, but this is something that not many people knows about, is to take the trades all the way down here, where literally, yeah, the wick starts of this following candle. Why? Well. This is something that I will probably do another video about and there is something more in depth that I have to go. But for the time being, I want you guys to know that, that in this area here, you have three types of entry that you can make it. Now, obviously the question is, what are the differences? Well, the main differences, to be honest, is all about the risk to reward, okay? So as you can, guys can already see, if I take the 50% and you know from this zone to all the way up here is already a one to three. And if I take this one, Oops, sorry, so let's leave it like this. And if I take it from all the way up here, it's almost one to one risk reward. But if I take it from here, right, it's already you can see this, that's one to eight point six to three, whatever. So usually what I tend to do, I go for the 50%. Now, this is not the only method I use to take my trades. I actually do have different style and actually I use some advanced concept, but this one, the way I'm showing it to you is more than okay for you to get started with and to backtest it as well. Because I'll be telling you something really, really important now, because a lot of people, they don't understand that actually what I'm showing you here, it can be expounded in a very different way. And this can be seen also as a supply and demand concept, you know? So this could be also demand for some people. Maybe they're not gonna call it order block, they would be calling, oh, this is my demand zone. And usually what happens is that these people, right? They trade supply and demand, which I do as well, personally, is that they don't see it the way I see it, so just taking the whole candle and doing this, but they will probably take the the chart the way I've just drawn over here, right? And they will be taking the whole zone like this, okay? I'm sorry, let me just change the, the background yeah, a little bit, okay, all right? So they will be probably taking the whole zone and pull it all the way to the left, and they will be waiting for their trades or the price to come inside the zone, okay? So they mark the whole zone and they call that zone demand. And supply, demand, order block, Wyckoff, whatever you name it, whatever you call it, I've been saying that even before, they're all the same thing. The only difference is that the way you see them and the way you want to use them. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'll see you to the next one.